Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I want to talk a little bit about engine maintenance and more specifically about connecting rods. I get the question from time to time how often I change the connecting rods in my OS engines, and it can vary depending on the application, but for off-road use, in most cases, the connecting rod should last the life of the engine. Now, if it's an older engine, you have a bunch of fuel through it, you're sending it in to have the piston and sleeve resized, then it's a, it's a pretty good idea to check the connecting rod and possibly even change the connecting rod. But if it's normal use, typically with OS engines, I would say the lifespan is typically 10 to 12 gallons. As long as you take care of the engine, change the air filter often, use a heat gun to preheat it before running. You know, obviously that lifespan can change if you run a dirty filter, if you don't heat it up and things like that. But typically I don't change the connecting rods in my engines. Now, if I have a problem, battery breaks, have a runaway and the engine uh, survives the runaway, then it's not a bad idea change the connecting rod. It's never really gonna hurt anything by changing the connecting rod, but it's also something that you don't need to, to really do as often as I think some people think. So a couple ways that you can kind of check or inspect the connecting rod is to remove the back plate, take the glow plug out, and then what you'll wanna do is rotate the piston to where the piston is at top dead center and you can do this with the plug in or, or out, but if the engine has any metal to metal pinch, uh, it's really easy to feel top dead center when the plug's out. So what you'll do from there is you'll just very slightly rotate the flywheel back and forth to where it's going just on each side of top dead center. And if that has a smooth transition, there's that's telling you there's not much uh, rod play or the crank pin isn't worn. Now there's always going to be a little tiny bit of notchiness just because there has to be, um, I don't want to say slop, but some room basically between the crank pin and the connecting rod for oil to lubricate uh, those two parts. Now when you rock it back and forth at top dead center, if it's really notchy or if you can actually see uh, that there's a bunch of, of play, then it's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and change the connecting rod. But in most cases, um, it should last the life of the engine or at least the life, the kind of natural life of the engine. Again, if you're having your engine um, or the piston and sleeve resized, you're doing that because you're trying to extend the life of the engine. So if you're going to add metal to metal pinch with a used connecting rod, um, then you're kind of on borrowed time. So if it's going to be pinched or maybe it's the second time an engine's being pinched, it's not a bad idea to throw a rod in it to just have it as a good backup engine or to just help extend the life of your race engine. Now in on-road, it's a little bit different. In on-road, you're tuning for pretty much just flat out power. Um, the engines are running at a much higher RPM. You're gonna put more stress on the connecting rod. <clears throat> so in on-road, it may be a thing where you wanna change the connecting rod every three to four gallons or every three to four races. And it will also vary or depend on your tuning and also the make of the engine you're using. So I'm specifically talking about OS stuff because that's what I kind of specialize in. So for off-road though, I think it's pretty simple. You make sure you preheat your engine, be a little bit conservative with a high-speed needle, make sure you change your air filter often, and your, your engine will um, perform without needing a whole lot of maintenance throughout the lifespan of the engine. Now, if you're not big on changing the filter and you lean the engine out to be you know, the fastest thing at the track, it's gonna be a little bit harder on the engine.
Um, one other thing that I do recommend, and I have videos out, is if you're not going to run for a couple weeks or if you live in an uh, area or climate where there's a lot of humidity, um, I recommend taking off the exhaust and then putting six or eight drops of a mixture of Marvel's Mystery Oil and WD-40 as after on oil. Rock the engine back and forth just so it lubricates uh, the moving parts inside and helps keep moisture and stops any possibility of corrosion. So these are just some tips that I do with my OS engines and hopefully you guys find this helpful and it helps extend the life of your nitro engines.